Hi there everybody, this is Bev at Clerical Vision uh, and this is a contest entry um, in response to Eric Weinbender's channel. Um, he's just recently launched a, a contest slash fundraising kind of um, awareness kind of uh, video um, regarding breast cancer, which is, you know, it's a pretty serious topic as the C word, I suppose. Um, and so, yeah, I, um, I'm doing an entry for this um, purely for uh, supporting the cause, supporting uh, Eric's channel and um, just bringing awareness, obviously, um, through the VC. Um, and plus, you know, doing contest entries, it's, it's kind of a, a fun way to get looking through your records and CDs and all that. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. Eric is um, doing this. Um, I'll put a link below to the, his video um, which launches the contest and he explains all about why he's doing it. Um, um, and he's hoping to raise some cash for breast cancer uh, at the same time. So I encourage all of you, particularly the metal heads, to show us your softer side and get out your pink. Um, you're bound to have some pink somewhere in amongst all that gore and creepy um, guts and blood and stuff like that. There's got to be... <laughs> there has to be stuff in there. Um, so basically, um, Eric's requirement is um, you show 10 things uh, that have pink in it, um, whether it's record, a coloured vinyl, um, where the cover's got pink on it in some form, the inner sleeve, CDs, tapes, videos, comics, books, um, cups, plates, anything that you have that has pink in it basically. Um, so I've pulled out a few things, I've got more than 10, I think probably there's about 15 roughly, I haven't counted it all, um, I just know I've got more than 10 items. Um, and most of it is music related, um, although there's a couple of things that aren't. For example, the jersey is just pink jersey and I have some clothing attire here. Um, so I thought I would show this as well. Um, I This is one of these winter woolly hats with the, the sides that cover the ears and the pom-poms. I got it in Munich when I was over there one year in December. Um, so that says München, um, so with the pink obviously I won't put it on just then, I'll make my hair stick up and I've, I've got it nice and <laughs> um, so there's that, there's my kind of loungewear slash pyjama bottoms, um, these instead of being black and white cow print it's pink and white, um, pale pink and white uh, sorry, pale pink and black even, you know, and they're kind of fleecy lines, so they come out in the winter time when I'm just messing around in the house. And obviously the jersey, so that's the items of clothing anyway that are representing the, the pink. Um, so everything else is music related. Um, so I've got two books, four CDs, and I think I've got about nine or ten records. And a couple of other random things. Um, so I think we'll just get started with the rest. Um, so yeah, as I say, check out Eric's channel. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe. He's a wonderful chap. I don't know him too well, um, but I do watch some of his videos now and again and it's so enjoyable. Um, it's kind of like just hanging out with a friend or, or your family and just having a blather, that's the kind of vibe that comes over to me. It's just so down to earth and laid back and um, a very pleasant chap to watch and he's got an amazing array of records in his collection, all kinds. He's into jazz, blues, I don't know, rock, metal, pop, um, everything I, I believe. Um, well, nearly everything, I suppose. Um, and so, 
I, as I say, the, the link to his channel will be below. Um, so right, on with the rest of the, the stuff. Um, so it was just if albums and, and things that I grabbed that feature pink somewhere in them. Um, so the first one, CD, is Heart and um, Little Queen, this album. Um, and obviously it's the pink strip here on this CD and the pink on the, the pink strip on the back. Um, there's no actual tracks that have the word pink in it. Um, I was trying to do that and obviously inside the inner back is pink as well. Um, next one up is Big Country and the Buffalo Skinners. Um, this is 1993, this album. And uh, there's no pink to see visibly, but there is a track on here. Uh, you probably won't see it too well either, no doubt. Um, however, it's track 11 and the, the song is titled uh, Pink Marshmallow Moon. So the word pink, um, I don't really know how well that will come out. But Pink Marshmallow Moon, track 11. Uh, and... Uh, the, uh, the disc is actually red, not pink, or it would have been a double bonus. Next up, um, another CD from an absolutely brilliant rock band um, from Sweden. Um, traditional melodic rock metal, Osukaru, and this is their latest album, um, House of Mirrors. And this one, not too much pink, but they're, um, one of the triangles in the, the album design is pink. And on the back, you can see it more clearly, pink there as well. And um, the, some of the track numbers are pink, other ones are blue. Can't really see that too well either, I don't think. Um, and uh, executive producer is also in pink, right up here. <laughs> um, and there's bits of pink on the inside as well. Great band, great album. And finally for the CDs, um, there's nothing pink to see here either, except for the band's name, um, and it is Pink Cream 69, so pink. Um, I recently added this one to my collection. Um, so yeah, Pink Cream 69, so that's the CDs. And next I've got a couple of books, music related of course. Um, the first one, it's beautifully pink. And it's the AB Guide to Music Theory, um, part one. There is a part two, which is in blue. Um, and this is published by the Associated Board of Royal School of Music. So it's, uh, it's, it's the, the real deal regarding music theory and all that stuff, if you want to learn about it. Second book is, I thought I would show this one, um, Runway Runaway by Lorelei Schellist. Um, this is kind of her biography, um, a story about her life growing up, um, how she became a fashion model and then she met uh, Steve Clark from Def Leppard and her relationship with him, living with uh, you know, a rock star and all that stuff. Um, that's Steve. And her thing, um, Lorna Lyshellis, yeah, she was the former girlfriend of Steve Clark and Def Leppard, so she talks a lot about Steve in this book, and that's basically the reason why I have it. But it's um, the pink here and the pink on the spine. Uh, very interesting read, actually. <coughs> um, as far as being a Steve Clark fan goes, though, it's a lot of people go on about how great the book is, love the book, love, you know, um, as far as I'm concerned it's not a pleasant read at all, it's quite a distressing read, um, but it's uh, interesting to know if you want to, uh, if, you know, if you're a, a hardcore fan, it's just one of these things. Next up, music related. Let's uh, unfold this. This is a plastic carrier bag from the 1990s. I don't know how I've still got it, but it's uh, yeah, it's from the 90s and it's HMV bag. Um, and it, the pink here obviously has Master's Voice. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit older. Top dog for music, videos, games. 
Um, there is no hmv.com. You have uh, HMV's direct telephone number here. Um, and yeah, 1990s HMV bag. How cool, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, let me see, and another piece of pink, music related, I have this rather cool um, pink Gibson guitar strap. Um, so that's the leather end, Gibson USA, and it's kind of like that strong seatbelt type material, this one. It's very uh, durable. Um, you have the adjuster part and all that jazz. So yeah, Gibson guitar strap. I have used this obviously. Um, I got it. I got this in the nineteen nineties, I think, in a in a music shop down in New York when I was obviously on holiday or something at the time. Um, so this, I thought, I need to have that. And I did have a Gibson guitar at the time. That's why I wanted this. Um, and lastly, on to the records. <clears throat> um, I'm hoping the glare won't be too much. Um, I've still got them in their uh, sleeves, but this is UFO and The Wild, The Willing and The Innocent. And uh, basically the pink on here is this uh, pink outline on this framed image. Uh, it's the same on the back. Again, you have a pink outline on there uh, and I was going to say pink nail polish but um, the UFO imprints actually in pink um, and I don't know they kind of look pink I suppose but so yeah that's album number one next one up is um, Treat and the Pleasure Principle and um, basically I just feel that there's like a pink hue kind of um, saturated in the, the whole cover uh, picture here. I think it's all bathed in a, a pink glow. Um, so that's why I'm showing that one. I can't recall. I don't even think I checked the inner sleeve on this, but um, no, it's, it's grey. There's no pink on the inner. So that is Treat and the Pleasure Principle. Uh, next one is an album I'm not too fond of actually. I prefer this band's earlier album, the first one, um, Shout, and this is In Your Face. Um, but it kind of goes from a purpley colour across to pink on this side, the background. Um, so yeah, again, apologies for the glare, but this is Shout and In Your Face. Um, on the back you've got like a mixture of pinks and purples. And the Music for Nations logo is definitely pink. Uh, next one I thought we'd pass for pink is this uh, Saxon album. And it's, um, what one is this? This is the Power and the Glory. And I reckon that this is kind of the, the band name and the album title uh, are kind of... Uh, illuminated if you like in a pink uh, glow again shall we say and this sort of pink is emanating from this powerful hand I guess so um, there we have it that is six and the power and the glory and <laughs> next up I thought it had some pink in it as well, and this is another fairly recent acquisition. This is Dead Ringer and uh, Second Arising. Um, Dead Ringer are a British band um, who were around in the early 80s, um, and this is on Neat Records. But again, the album is um, very, very much pink on the uh, different shades of pink on the sunset or sunrise. More so in the back, but on the front as well. So that is Dead Ringer. Next one up. Uh, yep, yeah, this is not metal, but this is Cliff Richard Lie. Um, as you can see, um, 
kind of pink Cliff Richard itself is in pink, some of the songs are in pink, uh, this is in pink and you have a nice bright pink border um, which is visible on the back and the front and I can't recall again, no this had a, just a plain inner sleeve in this so, um, but yeah, Cliff Richard Live, this is a 1970s recording Uh, again, a couple more that are not really metal as such, but um, yeah, I have Belinda Carlyle's self-titled or titled just Belinda. Um, this was her uh, 1986 release, which was the album Before Heaven on Earth. So, and on the back, it's black with pink um, words, uh, track listing, and pink barcode, etc. Um, it's not the easiest thing to read, but again, it is pink nonetheless. And briefly, no, again, oh, hang on, there was a, yeah, um, black inner, but the text, the writing again is all in pink here as well. So, uh, that is Belinda self titled. We're almost at the end. A couple more to show. Let's get this thing to go in. It's a tight fit. There we go. Uh, second last, um, Robin Beck and Trouble or Nothing. Um, again, bold pink writing for the name, uh, her name and the album title um, and on the back track listings are in pink and we have a kind of a, well it's red but the R for Robin is pink so um, this album was 1989, 88, 89 uh, and there is uh, bits of pink here and there although it's kind of purpley pink but yeah certainly more pink on the uh, outer sleeve for that one and the last one um, I was going through just trying to see if I had actually got any pink vinyl but I don't think I do I couldn't find any um, so I don't have any pink vinyl as such I've got just a bit of other colour and I've got kind of um, magenta or winey red but um, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't quite decide whether they were pink or not but so this is the, the most unusual one I guess you could say that I've got it's a picture disc um, and it's an interview picture disc with uh, Def Leppard um, and it's from the Talkies series um, this is an 80s thing obviously yeah between 84 and 87, um, I think the Def Leppard one, this is around about 84, 85 um, and it's an interview with Steve Clark and Phil Collin um, somewhere um, but as you can see, it's the outer sleeve that it's housed in is in pink and on the back it is in pink as well um, and the disc itself is a couple of pictures of the band I can't recall what um, the other side is like, but I'm not going to bother opening it at the moment. So that's my pink. That uh, I mean, I could probably find more stuff. Um, and as I say, it's uh, so you know, breast cancer awareness and cancer in general. I just recently heard um, it was yesterday, in fact, Ronnie Atkins, the singer from Pretty Maids, one of my newer favourite bands, um, he announced to the, the public yesterday that he's recently been diagnosed with lung cancer, um, which is pretty brutal. Um, he did go into explaining that he's had some tests and he's actually started treatment for it just now. Um, and the doctors are kind of optimistic that he will get over it. Um, so here's hoping, you know. Um, Bruce Dickinson managed to do it with his throat cancer scare um, 
and a lot more people nowadays are beating cancer thankfully but again you know it's still we still need to do more obviously um, so I wish Ronnie Atkins all the best because um, he's a great singer great band um, he's obviously been with Avantasia and uh, some other things Nordic Union um, and yeah and you know my dad has recently got over prostate cancer as well um, so thankfully he's um, doing good regarding that so yes um, so yeah hopefully more people can um, just uh, jump on board and support this um, contest I think there, there is a prize I think it's a cash prize but um, Eric honestly just donate if, if you pull my name out as the winner just donate the money to the, the cancer um, charity please um, I would be obliged if you did that right guys that's enough babbling for now um, I'll see you all in another video bye bye